This is a tutorial on how to use Mixpad. So Mixpad is an audio editor and you have to download this software. So to download the software, just go into your web browser and type in Mixpad. And you are going to click on this first link here, Mixpad Audio Mixer by nch.com. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that this you can see that you can download this for Windows, Mac, iPad, Android, or Kindle. So you would just download it for whatever system that you have. So after you have it downloaded, you can go and open it. And this is the screen that will show up. So along the top here is our main toolbar. The home the home tab allows you to open a previous project. It also allows you to load a clip or record a clip. The editing tab is where your undo and redo buttons are. These will be of importance definitely. And then if we go into our track tab, this is where we can add a track, delete a track, rename a track, or move a track up and down. If we go into our clip tab, we can also record a clip here and load a clip here. This also allows you to select clips and change the position of a clip on a track by these buttons here. These four buttons here. Then if we go into the effects tab, there are a lot of different effects that you can apply to your clips. We will mostly be using Amplify for the purpose of this tutorial. And finally, when you go into the mixing tab, this is where you can export your mix as a WAV file or another desired file. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a voicemail greeting. So to start with a voicemail greeting, you have to record um, an audio clip. So to record an audio clip, I'm just going to select this first track here and you can, there's different, a few different options to record it. So I'm actually going to use this record button down here. But before you can record it, you have to enable the recording to this track from the built-in microphone. So that's this button right here. Okay, you can see that it's enabled because you can see the levels of my voice. So now we're ready to start recording. Once again, this is the red button down here. When you're ready to stop, you can just push the stop button right here. All right, so here we go. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Okay, so that's our audio clip. So we can play that back and see how it sounds. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Perfect. So um, another thing we can do for a voicemail greeting is we can add some background music. So in order to open a already downloaded file, we can go we can go into the home tab, which we already are at, and we go to load clip. So we just click on load clip, and I have a previously downloaded guitar background sound that I'm going to use. So let me just click open. Now this the way that this went in is that the guitar is going to play after I'm done speaking, but we want it to play while I'm speaking. So we can move this. So if we go into clip, we can select the clip that we want to use, the guitar background, and we can click move to start. This way, the guitar will be playing while I'm speaking. Let's listen. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Now, the guitar is playing much longer than my voice, so we want to, we want them to end at the same time. So in order to trim this, we just go to the end of the guitar clip. If we just click and hold, 
and click and drag, sorry, we can drag this right down to the end of my audio and let go. And then they will they will both add at the same time. Now the guitar was much too loud for my voice compared to my voice. So we can select this button down here, this FX, you click this. This allows you to apply live effects to all clips in this track. So if we click this, we can double click on the amplify effect and we can move our amplify down and we'll make it around 20% and see how that sounds. So then we click apply and we can close out of our effects tab. If we move this back to the beginning, we can listen and see how this sounds now. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. So that sounds much better. We can still make my voice a little bit louder. So if we select the audio clip now and we go into the effects and we double click on the amplify, once again, the amplify all that it does is it increases or decreases the volume of the entire clip. So we can also select it to be double the volume. So let's click that and apply that effect. We can move this back to the beginning and see how it sounds. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. That sounds much better. So now we're just missing one more feature of a voicemail message, and that's the beep at the end of the message. So once again, we can go into load clip up here in the um, clip section this time, and we can select my previously downloaded beep wave five. We can open that. So since this was I would like to move this to its own track and not have it on the same track as my audio clip. So if I select, so if I go into, if I select this clip, well, let's go. That's a bit loud. I actually want this to be moved. So we're going to go edit, undo. Now, if we select this third clip down here, if we move our cursor to the end of the guitar tab here and our audio file as well, this is where our track will be imported. So we go to load clip and select our beat file and click open. Now we can, now this is going to be too loud. So if we go into effects, so if we select this track, we can go into effects, double click on amplify, and bring this down to 20, and apply. And let's listen to it now. It's still a little bit loud, we can probably drag it down a bit more. So let's bring it down to say 12, and we'll apply that effect, and test it out once again. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. That sounds much better. So once you're happy with your recording, in order to export this file, you have to go into the mixing tab. Here you will have a export mix option. You will click on that. It will ask you potentially if you want to purchase the full version of Mixpad, which has um, extra features that obviously aren't available in the free version. You can just say, I will purchase later. And you can choose where you would like to save it. I would save it in on my desktop. And you can title it whatever you would like. And you can save it as a WAV file, or you can save it as any of these files as well. So we'll save it as a WAV file. So you just click Save and Export. So 
So then when you go to your desktop, you can play it. Hi, you've reached Tamara Tool. Sorry I missed your call, but if you leave a message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Great, and that's how you use Mixpad. So thanks for watching.